and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. And my name's Rebecca. Um, I have a few items to share with you today from DIY Digital Art. They were kind enough to send me these goodies. So let's have a look. So the first one is an off the canvas item. There's quite a few. Well, I've, I mean, every now and then there seems to be a spurt of off the canvas items. So this is more like a little protective mat. I don't think you could use it as a mouse pad, but maybe you could use it as a, you know, coffee pot or maybe to put your trinkets, your jewellery on in your bedroom or something. There's a few different designs, but this is the one I chose to get, which is a little peacock. It does come with a boat wax and pen. And then the diamonds for this one. So we do have some, what looks like 310. They're not rhinestone backed. Then we do have some rhinestones. So we have some slightly bigger orange ones, even bigger blue ones. And then normal size in purple, blue, pink, slightly bigger pearls we've got some normal size silver or iridescent you know it's the backing you can see through some really big blue ones and then we have some in a yellow and a green so a few different types of diamonds there for you to keep it sort of varied stop you getting too bored they do come with letter symbols on the actual item itself. So if you can see, we've got little letters here. You can probably see them a little bit clearer here where we've got the big H. And that corresponds to the diamond on the front of the bag. Because it's always helpful if you know where you need to put the diamonds. But it's like a rubber silicone type mat may even help with holding your diamond painting tray maybe if you work on a little on a little table okay number two and then i do have a bigger one i always like to finish on the bigger one because otherwise i struggle with where they're going to go on my heads they took up a bit of space so this one is a special diamond painting and this one is an octopus is it special oh no it's not a special don't mind me it's a partial though so all that white in the background you don't need to do there is some white that or off white that goes onto the canvas in the octopus but you basically diamond paint where the octopus is so it's down as a 30 by 30 can i find the end of my tape measure but the actual image size, if I go from the outside line, is 24 and a half by 24 and a half. So it's still a nice square shape, it's just a little bit smaller. But if you don't like doing a lot of white for a background, have a look at partials. You do get boat wax pen and baggies. Not very often, but you get baggies in there. But look at these colours, gorgeous purples, blues, a peach, some pinky purples, more purples, more blues and there's that little bit of white as well. Gorgeous, I love those colours. Um, it has 16 colours so you've still got quite a nice bit of confetti-ish confetti-ish to do so if you do like the variety there's quite a bit of variety in there and if, and you don't actually diamond paint on the eye but gorgeous coloured painting and then last but not least I think this one was square I'm looking at the canvas and I think it's square let's find out when I get in it is it square it's another blue. I'm liking my blue. I go in phases. It is a square. So you get one toolkit with this, so there's no sharing. And this is 
another peacock to go with the little mat. So maybe maybe you should use the little mat while doing the peacock. Now it looks quite dull in colours, but there are some bright colours in these as well. We do have 310. There is 23 colours in all. That's your 310. We do have some greys, some darker greens, but then we do have some speckles of lighter colours. Nice bit of lime green, gorgeous blues, quite a few different shades of blue as you can imagine, and quite a few different shades of green. And these are all lighter than the canvas, not by a huge amount, but by enough to make the canvas pop when it's finished. If I hold it at the right angle for the light. Can you see that? That looks better. You really get to see how stunning that peacock is. It's a 40 by 50 and the canvas is poured glue, but the canvas for this one is 45 by 34 and a half so very nearly by 35 but it's classed as a 40 by 50 as many of, if many of you know who's been diamond painting before the actual canvas size on poured glue tends to be a little bit smaller um, because it does take into account the border even though you don't stick diamonds on that bit but you could potentially cover it or try and remove the lettering and use it as a border and still put it in a 40 by 50 frame. But I think that's just gorgeous. I think that's going to be really fun to do. So we have peacock number one. Then we have a partial octopus, if you don't like all that background white. And then we have a little peacock mat for you to do before doing your big peacock. There's just an animal theme going on. It's just the way shopping happens sometimes. But I hope you've enjoyed these selections. Thank you to DIY Digital Arts for sending me them to share with you all. And I will, of course, pop links down below in the description so that you can grab yourself one if it takes your fancy. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.